Hi all, Lee Veris here with another Phototech Tuesday. Each week I will be bringing you another video exploring photo techniques, equipment, software, creativity, travel, and more. Today I'm doing something different and a little less technical. I'm looking at a photo excursion in Burano, Italy, which is part of our Venice Carnival photo adventure. And I'm looking at the process of visual immersion in a location which is the essence of travel photography. So come look over my shoulder as we explore. Welcome to Burano, Italy, one of the truly unique photographic locations and a world heritage site. This town is part of the Venetian archipelago, a must-see if you go to Venice. Burano is one of our favorite stops on our Venice Carnival photo tour. Known as the colorful island, Burano is kind of a dollhouse version of Venice in miniature, with canals, narrow streets, and alleyways. A visual feast around every corner. Filled with unique shops and restaurants and incredibly friendly people, here we're entering the main plaza under the protection of Mary and Jesus. Just about every house is painted in bright colors, often with colorful clothes drawing in the lines stretched outside the front windows. Burano is a town of waterways and alleyways. A riot of color and light. Every path leads to wonderful color and graphic compositions. Burano is known for its exquisite lace production, and many shops have displays, which make for fantastic subjects for detail shots. I'm always fascinated by the play of light across the textured fabric. And even the broccoli here has kind of lace-like patterns. I love the color composition here and uh, the, the color coordination with the tourist jacket. I'm, when I'm in Burano, I'm always looking for graphic color compositions like uh, you see on the right here. And it seems like the whole town is very aware of color combinations. Even mundane objects become studies in color that just scream out to be captured. The play of light and shadow is truly breathtaking. Burano invites you to slow down and explore little details of shadow and color. There seems to be an ongoing contest for the most artistic front door. And you'll find these all over the place. Almost everyone has a unique creation that makes an excellent photo subject. The narrow alleys and lanes create a kind of magical quality of light bouncing off of colorful walls and reflecting in windows and in water. The canals provide lots of opportunity to work with, refl with reflections, and there are often swans swimming around, ready to pose for your camera. Colorful reflections make a great subject for abstract compositions. And of course, what would Burano be, during Carnival anyway, without costumers? We bring a couple of costumers with us for our tour of Murano, and we pose them in the colorful environment to great effect.
It's great to come back to Burano every year. It's always different and always magical. And so it's time to say goodbye to Burano and look forward to next year. I hope you can join us on one of our tours for 2024. We'll be in Murano again for our Venice Carnival Tour, which runs from February 4th through the 11th. Go ahead and take a picture with your mobile phone to be taken to our website, where you can scroll down and sign up for our email list. Well, that's it for now. I hope this show inspired you to dig into a new location and really explore the photo options in a new and exciting way. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you won't miss another Phototech Tuesday. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.